will be a catalyst to know what each other is doing, to coordinate efforts, to meet the gaps of uh, activity if there are any in the community, uh, to set standards and to inform the various uh, members. The membership list of organizations uh, will be increased. We have more who want to come in, and uh, their boards are yet to act on it, but we look forward to that. And uh, we think that we'll be an exciting force for upgrading what needs to be upgraded to deal with this problem in our community. Well, uh, that was the second time that uh, Michel Archambault was trying to give me a pass, you know, from his left side. And the first time, well, the pass was a little too short. And the second time, the pass was right on my stick. And I look, I, look, I look up ahead of me, and I saw the defenseman coming at me. So I made the move to my left, and I went to my right. And then I saw the goalie coming out, so I just went to my left, and uh, that was it. You know, I had the goalie beat, and everybody beat. Have you ever had a breakaway that meant this much uh, no. before? Uh, I think it was, I had some breakaways before, but that was one of the biggest goals I ever had in my career so far, in my young career. How many goals have you scored for the Hawks this year? Oh, well, this year I scored 15 goals this year, and two in the playoffs already in the final against Omaha. You're kind of a wiry type of hockey player. Do you have to have rest in a series, or do you think this is to your advantage going, say, almost half the month of April? Well, I don't need, I don't think I need a rest because I've rest most of the year this year. I don't want to play 31 games, and uh, I've been hurt uh, quite a bit, and I'm not in shape yet, in good shape. And I, I need to practice and play a lot to get back in good shape as fast as I can, you know. But uh, I don't think I need a rest anyway. How do you feel Omaha played last night? I think they played pretty well. They played better than they did uh, in Omaha. But uh, I guess we deserved a break last night. We didn't get the break in Omaha, and uh, we did last night. So I guess we deserved that game last night anyway. What do you think they're going to come back at you Saturday night? Just a good, hard, tough checking hockey? Oh, well, it's going to be uh, hard checking and fast skating. It's going to be this, that's the way they play all the time, and it's going to be pretty, a pretty tough series. It's all the way down the wire. Coach, how do you feel your club played last night? I thought we played very well, and uh, actually both clubs were tremendous. It was probably the best game of the year. It was excitement for both teams, and uh, it was uh, too bad or unfortunate we had to lose, but they scored a great, great goal, and uh, I think they should be proud of their effort, too. You're going to continue the same type of uh, attack that you have in the past? Yes, definitely. This is our uh, asset, uh, our skating, and if we're skating, we can we can outplay the uh, the opposition, and we skated well enough to win. In fact, I think in the last minute of the third period, we had the game wrapped up right there. We had three very good chances within a less less than a minute, and your goalie was great and saved the game for uh, Dallas. Who are some of your outstanding players? We have uh, a number of outstanding players. I believe our st our centerman uh, Morris Stefano has been outstanding in the series. He's probably, uh, probably one of the better uh, centermen in the league. And also, of course, everybody knows Andre DuPont, our policeman on defense. Uh, he's been playing well all year. And then we have a young rookie named Mike, rookie, uh, Mike Murphy. And if he didn't get hurt for about two weeks this year, he definitely would have led the league in scoring. As it was, I think he ended up fourth anyway. But uh, those are uh, a number of the stars we have. But I think every one of them is a star. They proved it to me all year long. Well, it's been felt, perhaps, that uh, you have the advantage in the long playoff period and the number of games at home. Of course, you deserve to get more than Dallas since you finished on top. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I, I like the way the series is set up now, where there's a number of days off between games, because we have a smaller club than Dallas, and uh, it gives us a little more time to rest up between games uh, and shake off some of the bruises.
morning, Lance. Will you have any statement at all? Any Not statement, Lance? Not now. How do you plan to plead? Uh, let you let you find out from the courtroom. Will you have a statement afterwards? Yes. Uh, hey. Very good. No, he's over here. Would you look over here for a minute? Here, would you look over here for a minute? He won't hurt. Just for a second. Then you can look back at Lance, okay? Uh, I know that... Let's have a one, two, three. Well, the only uh, way that I could see that we would benefit from this would be that uh, the federal distribution or the distribution of federal uh, commodities, and uh, this would be uh, the only portion that I know of, or the only way that we could get it, that we would be helped. Uh, it wouldn't affect our uh, unemployment uh, uh, or uh, the energy. We are still responsible for this locally then the, the effect would, would revolve in the area of commodities and food stamps to what degree for Dallas County? Well, this would be just on a limited basis uh, because the, uh, the new federal plan would assume the responsibility of all of those people that are recipients of the state. But we would still have our responsibility to some degree at the county level. That's right. Locally, we would still have the same responsibility and this would cut out probably about 95% of the food uh, distribution or food stamps, whatever program that the uh, uh, communities are under. With the government taking over welfare and giving the money to the states, what protection is there for the cities to get their fair share? Well, actually, any uh, state would still be required under what we're doing on a matching basis to provide social services to the people who are either in what we call the workforce in training are those in, on welfare. The states or the cities, if they're doing that job, would have to still do that job. Well, let me just say this. I, it's been a very trying situation I'm sure you can all understand that and it's not my place here to discuss it in any detail um, I do want to say that uh, I plan to be working with my doctors until this whole problem is resolved uh, I promise that to myself and to the people who are concerned uh, and as for my future right now I just want to take a couple of weeks off to think about what I want to do from both an immediate and long-range standpoint I just really haven't thought that much about it until this thing was over with Let me say first that uh, the program that we're working on in the Ways and Means Committee is not a substitute for revenue sharing 
As many, many people have said, it's not our purpose to take over all of the costs of welfare, as some have suggested might be the case. What we're trying to do is to clean up what everyone, I think, on welfare or who pays for it, describes as being a mess right now. We want to redirect the whole of it away from uh, a status of idleness and poverty uh, into a status of uh, giving individuals uh, an opportunity to help themselves. Well, we are going to make a definite effort in that direction, no doubt about it. Mr. Moeller has already come out for me. Uh, as I said, South Dallas is next on my list for tomorrow, and I intend to get that vote. Lipscomb has not come out for you, and there's some speculation his voters might just cop out and not vote at all. I don't believe so, but I believe that's going to be up to me and up to my family and the way we go and pursue the vote and show uh, the folks in South Dallas uh, how important they are to us. Incidentally, more people from the uh, geographical area of South Dallas came to see me at my Wednesday night meetings here than all other geographical areas combined. I just Let me just say this. Um, as I say, I want to take a couple weeks off to, to think about it. I haven't even talked with the Cowboys, haven't talked with the Commissioner or anybody. I really, as I say, have been waiting for this thing to be over with, and I want to think about what I want to do, and then I'm going to meet with them and uh, and uh, discuss it from that standpoint. Um, you know, I'm just only sorry that I had to have my family and my wife, uh, who I love very much, suffer through this with me, and I, that's been a very hard thing for me. And uh, I would like to say that in spite of all the rumors, uh, wild rumors from so-called reliable sources, there have been a lot of people that have supported me, in, both in letters and, and calls, and I'd like to thank those people uh, very much. And uh, in special, I want to thank my team because uh, they, they stood by me uh, to a man, and I'll never forget that. And it's probably the highlight of my athletic career, and I want to thank them especially, and I, and I feel very close to them, and I feel that they've helped me a lot. And that's really all I can say. Well, well can we ask you what your attitude has been coming up to today? Uh, in other words, where you've been and what you've been thinking about? Well, I've just been thinking about getting this thing over with, and I'm, I'm, uh, I promised my teammate one thing. Uh, you know, I told him I'd be back, and I will. Uh, to get that independence and that spirit of Dallas that I've been begging for for the past 